Hey guys, let's talk about conversions today. Are you looking to increase your conversions in your business? By all means, stick around. This is Sharon from Dr. Business Builder. All right, let's talk about website conversions. You have a website, right? People are getting there. Well, how are they getting there is the question. Are you paying them to get there? Are you doing paid traffic? Or is it organic traffic? Is it because you have blog posts that are attracting people? Is it because you have social media posts and you're driving people to your website? It's basically one or the other. Either you're doing paid traffic or they're finding you organically, right? That's pretty much how this goes. So once they're on the website, think about it. What do you do when, you, when you're searching something and you go on a website? How often are you on a website before you click back? What makes you stay on a website, all right? So right from the beginning, it has to be a message that you know, they can relate to. That's what they're searching for. They don't, you don't wanna be doing blog posts on something that's not consistent with your business message or what your products and services are, right? Because they're going to come on your website and going to be like, this isn't what I'm looking for. So they're going to back out. Maybe a website that looks old, that could be a reason why somebody clicks back. Think about why you click back, all right? Maybe the message isn't clear. The message definitely has to be very clear and concise because you want to attract the people, the right people to your website. It's okay to get traffic, but you have to do something with that traffic, right? You're looking to monetize. You're looking to take a cold market and make them warmer. So make sure that your website, the design is, is up to date. Make sure it's very clear. Make sure it's, you know, attractive colors. Um, depending on your demographic, you want to cater to them. Is it more neutral? Is it more man? You're going to do masculine or is it more feminine? You're going to do more pinks and purples. So these are all things to consider. It definitely has to do with website design. Now I did a video on website design. So take a look at that one up there. Okay. And so you're on your website. What are you going to offer them? What's the message? Well, you definitely want to have an email collection, right? It has to be there because you want to take this cold market and get them warmer. And you could do that by doing serial emails to them. Now, what makes them sign up? Well, a few things, right? The offer, the whole offer is the most important thing as far as, you know, is this the right offer for them? Are, if you're targeting the right people, they're going to like that offer that you're presenting. And if they're not, there's a mix up here. Either you're, you're getting the wrong people to your website or what your offer is, isn't strong enough or it's not catering to them enough. So that's all something to consider. The copy is huge here, right? You could just have a good offer, but if it's not written right or if it's unclear, it's, it's going to be a problem. You're not going to get as high a conversion as you could be. So do me a favor, spend some time with that copy. It's important. What you could do is if you don't know how to do this and you know, have no idea, go to your competitors, look at your competitors' websites, especially the top rank ones. How are they getting there? What keywords are they using? There's actual tools that you can pl plug in the URL and they'll tell you, you know, what are the keywords for that website? What's drawing them organically to that website? All right, so take a look at their message. Take a look at what they're offering. Um, these are all things that can help you push along to your website. And make sure, like I had said, there's not a lot of clutter on your website because people don't like unclear messages. So once you get them to your website and they stay on your website, you want them to sign up right? And then what do you want to do with the website itself? You definitely want to be able to retarget these people. And you could do that by adding a pixel, like a Facebook pixel, and then you'll be able to either run Facebook ads to them or Instagram ads or both. It doesn't matter. But the bottom line is you are, you should be targeting who's coming to your website and some way to tag them that they were on your website, but they didn't buy. So these are all things that are really important when it comes to automation. And when you have a business, it's so very important to automate. And you know, the bottom line is, your website runs 24 7 it is there it is a spokesperson for you even when you're sleeping in bed because it's there and depending on how you set it up it could lead to you know courses or services that you offer and it could all be automated especially if you have something like a course or a program you put them right into the funnel they buy and they get right into that prog program and you kind of hands off but that takes time to do it doesn't happen overnight and the bottom line is there has to be a trust factor so how do you tr how do people get to trust you when they don't even know you well definitely by testimonials right put testimonials on your website. That should definitely be there. It should be on the first page and it should be very clear to people. People have purchased your services and products. They like them and, you know, they say good things about it. That that may inspire someone to, to buy, right? Would it inspire you to buy? Definitely would inspire me to buy. Um, there's like social proof, I guess, is the app that you can put on your website. I can help you with that if you have more information, like more questions about that. But the bottom line is it goes on your website and it tells people who purchased, you know, the product and when they did that. So that helps as well. 
Um, there's lots of different things that you can do, but the bottom line is you definitely want to be very clear and concise. Now, you know a lot of people are on mobile, right? So they're on mobile. If you're always doing your website on desktop, you may not be looking at mobile. You may not be seeing what they're seeing. So definitely check out your website on mobile. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll remove a lot of my stuff that's on my website and I'll make it simple, even more simpler because people are on mobile. Yes, they're searching, but they need quick. That's the bottom line. They have a little bit more time if they're on desktop. So I'll take out some information that I think you know may not be relevant. I do more sentences and paragraphs just so that they can easily scroll and you know hopefully sign up if I'm offering something that they like. And the last thing you could do, is, which I mentioned to you, is that targeting ads. That's so very important. They're coming to your website. There's some interest there, right? Depending on your bounce rate. So make sure you're getting, you know, you're targeting who these people are that are coming to them. And then you want to retarget them. You know, if they're on Instagram later that day, you want to be able to send an ad or a few days later. Same thing with Facebook, you know? Oh yeah, I saw that. You know as well as I do, as far as the marketing goes, most people don't buy on the first time. It takes a few touches, they call it, you know, before them, before people purchase. There has to be some sort of a relationship or, you know, you turn a cold into a warm market. But the bottom line is it's consistency and just doing this and having things all set up. And I'm going to speak more about automation because I just think automation is huge when you're in business and especially if you're a small business. All right. So this is uh, Sharon from Dr. Business Builder. Give me a thumbs up if you like that video and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell if you want to hear more videos like this. And I hope that you're growing your business and I hope to help you along with that struggle or, you know, follow you on your journey and, and kind of go along together. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.